Hey folks, this is Shane from Forum TV. Welcome to the latest video. Today we're going to try and remove the interior in our beige Porsche 911. Alright, so here we are, interior of the car. Um, as I've said before, not my favourite colour. Uh, it's not bad, and I know a lot of people like it, but not not my style. Um, so, I'm going to try and remove it, and to create a little bit of drama, I'm going to see how much can I get done in two hours. Start the clock. So first thing we're going to do is remove the seats. Um, so in order to do that, we've got to remove these plastic covers. Which then give us access to these uh, bolts here. And then if we bring the seat forward, There's these four covers down the back as well. Slightly different style, same principle. They just need to be slid off. There we have them off. Alright, now we've gotten the rear two bolts done, slide the seat back and get the front two. Now we've gotten that done, we're going to have to go in under the seat and undo some electrical connections. A couple of connections there for the uh, various seat control functions, these electric seats, so there's a few things that they can uh, get access to. Alright, so we've undone a large black connector, which is basically to pull out the uh, piece on the side to, uh, to undo it, and then the the white connector which is just kind of a normal automotive connector. Uh, you just pry, it, pry the two lugs off each side and that's that undone. Um, try to see is there anything else that's connected. Looks like a bit of uh, automotive archaeology. We've got a spork, but we've also got five pence and a penny. So we're starting to make money from this car. Oh. And a free air freshener. All right, so now I'm just gonna lift this out. Quick time check. That took me 13 minutes. I think I'll need to try and do the next one faster. All right, let's continue through. Going to do exactly the same thing to the passenger seats. Seat. All right, I removed the bolts on this one off camera because it's exactly the same process as the driver's seat. And then we will take a look underneath. And again, we've got our uh, black connector. I wonder if maybe these seats have been removed before because uh, there's um, this has popped off the uh, its mount. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll undo it. Same process as before. You need to pull this black tab out of the side like that. There we go. It's apart, and there's no other connections under there. 
so we can pull this one out. Again, looks like we've made another penny or two and another free air freshener and free coffee creamer as well. Two seats out. And we'll do a quick look at the interior. Well, that one done a little bit faster. It was about eight minutes, given I knew what I was doing, and I wasn't trying to film the whole thing. All right, so next up, we're gonna remove the rear seats, then we'll get onto the center console, and then we should be able to start accessing the carpets. So the rear seat lowers, probably one of the easiest things to get out because they're just held on with Velcro. Well, that wasn't supposed to come out that way, but oh well. So much for the Velcro, it must be strong. There we go, that one came off the way it should have. All right, now we're gonna move on to the seat rears. All right, gonna need to get a little screwdriver in, start to pry off a couple of plastic covers. So go after the seat rears, I might actually go after the um, base of the seat belts while I'm at it. So this just pries off and leaves uh, its clip behind, so I'll sort that out. Um, but yeah, just a normal bolt, which we will attack momentarily. Another bolt for that one. For this one we've got a Torx screw. So we'll just do the same on the other side quickly and then we'll get the uh, get the tools in to get these out. So again for this one I'm just putting a little, little bit of pressure underneath to help. And there is a clip at the back, which may or may not come out with it. And then down here, it is just a plastic cover. So it pops off. This one is just a plastic cover. It looks like there's a little bit of corrosion on the, the hardware behind here, but that's to be expected on an older car. So tips the wise, make sure to remove that uh, little metal clip that holds the plastic cover on because it screws up your access to the bolt otherwise. Let's figure out what size Torx this is. All right, so that's the T40 for this one. The bolts for undoing those was a 17 mil ratchet. All right, this centerpiece is fighting me a little bit, so I'm gonna remove this bit of uh, carpeting and see if I can get a little bit, slightly better access. Easiest way to remove this is just to get your hand in underneath it and pull it up from the center, because that then pulls it out from 
and underneath either side there. There we go. Under here you've got all the uh, electrical fun and games. So you've got relays this side, ECUs that side, and then uh, some slightly rusty suspension mounts over there and over there. All right, got this one up and it's a T25 Torx. So just get that off. Now we should just be able to lift these out. down here out for seat belts. Next thing over this side that needs to come out is this little coin tray thingy. Uh, it's got a rubber liner on the inside of it. So we lift that out and there should be a couple of screws underneath. There we go. As per usual, it's a couple of torques. All right, so these are T20s. Behind these three little um, plastic covers is three hex bolts. Right, yeah, so I'm just uh, undoing them. Lost a few minutes of my time searching for the right size of Allen key. That's those undone. Okay, you don't need to don't need to totally undo the Allen bolts. They do just lift off the side of it. So I might quickly put that one back so I don't lose it, and then we'll pull the carpet out from underneath here. And these are the connections for opening the uh, bonnet and engine hood. And with a little bit of levering, we managed to get that off too. Uh, the front's glued on. So we'll, we'll pull that off eventually. Um, gonna keep on going round the back, I think, and through the center. So in order to get these off, I think I need to get these side panels off and um, these carpet panels here as well. And we'll pull this unit out. Um, I won't go and do that with a screwdriver though. That's fine on the carpet, but I think I'll use something plastic on these pieces. All right, so these actually pry off. another couple of Torx bolts to uh, undo. Now that we've got the center piece out, we're gonna try and get this 
this trim panel off. So we can access what's underneath the center console. got that out. I've got another Torx to undo. I've got a few more Torx to remove. Two underneath the coin tray and I think there should be one in under here somewhere. Yep, there it is down the back. Let's get those removed. I believe there might be one more underneath the uh, the switches, but let's let's see what we can get away with. As we suspected, there is another one. Uh, I think in order to get this console off, we're also going to have to remove these connectors, but we'll get to that in a moment. And just for reference, the two connectors in here were T25s, or we're back down to a T20 for this one. Alright, let's take a look at these connectors here. Connector down here. For a light inside your coin tray. Who knew it was a, it was a light in there? All right. So these two connectors for the window mechanism—they just pull off. Um, I can't rest the camera. Find anywhere to rest the camera. So I'm just going to get them off now, and I'll show you them afterwards. I found another screw that I wasn't aware of, and that I didn't find listed on anything I read online. Right here. Uh, so just need to undo that and hopefully then I'll be able to lift this thing out. Alright, found another one. Okay, so there's three in this back unit. There's the one underneath the coin tray and then one up at the very point in front. And there's one more little electrical connection for the micro switch for the alarm. Center console undone. So we can undo a few, a few more pieces here. And that should allow us to install the uh, new carpet. All right, so a lot of the guides that I've read online tell me to basically cut this in half in order to get it out. I would rather keep it intact just in case I want to reuse it or sell it on. Um, so what I'm going to do is try and undo things properly. So that's undo the handbrake mechanism, undo the um, gear change mechanism, and this um, centre console mounting piece here. So standard bolts for it, standard nuts for that. So I'm just going to get to it. Okay, I've got the handbrake mechanism removed and did the um, adjustment bolts and took it out of the wires. So that's all clear. And now we're going to move on to the uh, transmission controls. So again, similarly held down with a handful of bolts. So we'll undo those and um, get this out of the way. In order to access this last bolt, 
we need to pop the um, transmission selector switch off this little um, bulb joint here and move these two uh, thingy, two clips together so it could come out of the uh, piece here. connection as well. All right, and that's free. Now we just need to get this mounting bracket out and then we should be able to remove this section of carpet um, or once we do some work in the footwell. Uh, midway through undoing these bolts the alarm went off so I've hit my two hours and failed to get the uh, carpets out but we'll keep on going. I don't actually have that much more to do. It'll be interesting to see how much longer it takes. All right, so now we've gotten just up to the front of the car for the last few things. So we need to remove this fuse panel. So that's four um, Phillips heads, very normal and boring. And then we're going in behind the um, accelerator pedal. That's that section removed. Now we're moving on over here. We've got a screw here which holds the assembly in there. Took a bit of levering with some plastic pullers, but we are now clear for the front carpet. And we've got to clear the sides here. All right, so we've got the carpet disconnected in most of the areas. The one area that we haven't been able to is down in these corners so in order to do that I need to remove the trim panels um, I'm not gonna have time to do that today so this is gonna have to be part one and part two we'll remove the trim panels get the rest of the carpets out um, and then move on to the headlining and other trim as well as the door panels